It may be a bolo, but I probably would not list it personally. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I am going to feature bolos from my Facebook group. This is a monthly bolo post that I put up in the group. This one happens to be June, and members of the Facebook group share their bolos. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And Facebook group, Looks like this. If you're not in it, I have a link down below. It's in my link tree. So go down to my link tree, click on that, and you'll see my Facebook group. So check that out and come share a bolo. Let's get started here with the first one. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member. Okay, so anybody can share on the post. Um, if you are a level two or higher Bolo Buddies member of my YouTube channel, um, there's a link down below that talks about that you get the perk of having your eBay store or YouTube channel popped up and a link down in the description. So memberships uh, level two and up, but no pressure to join memberships. It's completely free to share, but if you want that perk, you can join at level two. So this one comes from the Kitschy Canson, and she bought a lot of vintage car hood ornaments at, and dealership emblems at her local consignment auction house. Each piece ended up costing about $9. This stag head hood ornament sold in two days after listing for a best offer of $70. Check it out. It's chrome. Here's another one. This one is a same thing, about $9 cost of goods. She said, this is a chrome dealership emblem sold in less than 24 hours after listing for the full listed price of $35. And it's Mick. Dow Motor Company. And you know, this one would be harder to sell and it sold in 24 hours. So it was just somebody looking for that particular item. She probably could have priced that one higher, but um, because it's such a specific item and there probably weren't any others like it listed, but I'm sure she was happy with it because if you watch my other video, I featured two others that sold for crazy money. So she did really well. This one comes from Eat, Pray, and Thrift. That is her eBay store. And she said, against my better judgment, I paid up for this vintage Calico Donkey Kong tabletop arcade video game for $40 at a garage sale. Ooh, 40 bucks. But when I got home and saw the comps, I was pretty sure I had a great buy. I listed at $199 and with an hour, I received an offer of $161. I took the offer happily. I have no problems with a quick sale. Thank you to Courtney and all the Bolo Buddies members who continue to share their wealth of knowledge. It's very appreciated. Oh, thank you so much. All right, here we go. This is my best Bolo as of today. I'm fairly new seller. I just started in February and basically sell part-time. I bought this Monsters and Madonnas book for 66 cents at a local flea market. Bought three for $2. I listed the book for 159. Figured I would let it set if it sold, it would be a plus. So I got an offer of 100. I countered at 120. I was thrilled it sold, plus shipping and tax for a total of 147.55. And it says see photos below. Um, I deleted the photos because it is a woman who is nude on the front. Um, and I don't want that in my Facebook group. No nude stuff. Be careful putting nude stuff on Facebook. I'm sorry, on eBay. Uh, it it It's a full body. So eBay didn't catch it. I know that they don't allow nudies on there, so it may be a bolo, but I probably would not list it personally. So, uh, paid $5 for this new perfume at a yard sale. I accepted an offer of 150 plus shipping and sold it in 24 hours. It is an Estee by Estee Lauder spray, super cologne, vapor something, Old design, sold it for $150 in 24 hours. This one comes from Picker Money Flipper, and I just featured their eBay store on this channel recently or not long ago. It looks like this. Go check it out. They are Bolo Finders. So what I'm doing is I'm featuring eBay stores, and I'm showing you all of their big money bolos because I show you guys my what solds, and I show you guys solds from here, but I was like, wouldn't it be cool to like feature 
stores. So doing some of that now. So check out that. Uh, pretty cool. I've been doing it a long time, but I kind of got off course and haven't done it for a while. And I'm kind of trying to bring that back to the channel. So let me know what you guys think about those videos, if you like them or not. And um, this is a new old stock perfume. And they are a Bolo Buddies member. So definitely check them out down below in the description and sub them up. Picker Money Flipper on eBay and YouTube. Paid a dollar a piece for these two tools at a yard sale. I had two of the same tools and they both sold to the same buyer. One for $300 and one for $260. The buyer also paid shipping. Vintage AJ Gerard model whatever pistol grip steer i'm sorry steel strapping banding tool <laughs> no clue but wow she said my husband picked up this golf club at a yard sale for 15 i accepted an offer of 260 plus shipping and this one also comes from picker money flipper i told you they're bolo finders and they do a lot of videos and this one has a video also Scotty Cameron, Newport 2, The Art of Putting Oil Can Putter. Huh. I found this vintage Terminator 2 t-shirt at the bins after some t-shirt bros left that bin. That's so funny. I was surprised it was there. I sold after six months on Poshmark on an offer that I accepted for $140. So I think she's probably talking about like the t-shirt guys that stand in front of the t-shirts and they like dig and dig and dig and you kind of have to like they're territorial um so it can be anybody at the bins that has like they're the first there and they're just kind of stay there and wait for the bins to come out and you kind of like wait your turn <laughs> i don't know sometimes i'm a wait your turn person i found this in a small goodwill in a nicer neighborhood where i often find better items it was a dollar and i looked it up I looked up the stamped signature when I got home. It was carved by a known artist who specializes in painting in the era of the Florida highwaymen. His name was Riley F. Napier. Napper? Napier? I don't know how to say it. He is often connected to them, but it isn't officially a named highwayman. What's a highwayman? Anyway, I listed it for $700, a shot in the dark, and waited more than a year for the right buyer. I got a lowball offer of $250, and I took it. The buyer was happy when it was received. She said it was a gift for her husband for their anniversary that night. She said he will love it because the artist is his stepfather. I had thought about keeping it, but gla glad now I didn't because I feel it went to its rightful home. My store name is Finding Fun Things. Bolo Buddies member finding fun things. She paid shipping and gave excellent feedback. This is what it looks like. Cool. Hand carved Hound Dog Riley. Leo's Treasures, another Bolo Buddies member. And this is what her eBay store looks like. I purchased several factory sealed music CDs at an estate sale for a dollar each with Taylor Swift on her most popular tour right now. I knew this would sell fast. It is her first CD, self-titled Taylor Swift. It is sold for full asking price of $70.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, I do have a question for you guys. I know in my Vero video recently, somebody had an issue with Taylor Swift. It was a t-shirt, a con a concert, <laughs> I can't talk, a concert t-shirt. And it was marked counterfeit, I think. I think that's what they said. Has anybody else had any issues with Taylor Swift? Let me know down in the comments. This one also comes from Leo's Treasures and it is cuteness. I love to find and sell vintage Christmas ornaments. I purchased this vintage made in Japan flocked felt snow baby ornament for 25 cents at an estate sale. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. It sold for full asking price of $54.75 and the buyer paid shipping. This one is from Leo's Treasures also. This vintage Merrick family's old world Christmas glass ornament was found in a bag of several ornaments wrapped in tissue paper at an estate sale. Each ornament cost about 75 cents. The old world Christmas, the queen of hearts from Alice in Wonderland sold for full asking price of $45.95 and the buyer paid shipping. I found this book, Patterns of Fashion 1, at the Goodwill bins for 50 cents. I actually wasn't even looking to resell. I just love sewing, so it looked interesting to me. 
It did take a month to sell, but I got my full asking price of $115. I also got Patterns of Fashion too, but a scammer was the first to buy it. So I still had, I still need to relist it. Oh, uh, you gotta love those scammers. And this is what it looks like. I found several pieces of Staffordshire Liberty Blue in a box by my neighbor. Uh, I'm sorry, box my neighbor was throwing out. So these were absolutely free. I still have more listed, but I sold the butter dish for 30 and three luncheon plates for 45. And they are Staffordshire Liberty Blue Lafayette's Landing at West Point covered butter dish and Liberty Blue Luncheon Plate Washington at Valley Forge three plates. That's what they look like. My latest bolo sold on Mercari. Took probably a year or so. I bought most of the set at a local online auction. It was missing about five books. Uh, scored, um, scoured, I'm sorry, eBay and Marketplace to replace them. I would say I have around 250 into it, to be honest. But a sale that was well worth the wait. I had actually cut the price in half on eBay the day before, but hadn't got around to Mercari yet. Happy I didn't. I had gotten so many message from people telling me I was crazy. Crazy indeed. Thanks for all you do, Courtney. Um, wow, it sold for $902. So she cut the price on eBay. But I do this all the time. Like I'll run a sale on eBay, but I, I don't really run sales on Mercari. So the price is usually higher on Mercari. And uh, sometimes it'll be like sitting on eBay for whatever price, much lower. And it sells on Mercari or Poshmark for a higher price because I haven't reduced my prices over there because I don't ever have time to mess with my listings. And eBay, I can just run a bulk sale if that makes sense. So that's kind of what happened to her. So that is awesome, $902. Um, after fees, it looks like she made $783.40 and she had about $240 in it. So that's great. Juniper Petals. I bought this Rainbow Bright in a lot of, at an online auction. I paid $8 for it and sold it for asking price of $47 in just two days after listing. Uh, it's a 1983 Rainbow Bright 18-inch plush doll, Hallmark Cards, and Mattel. And nice little bolo, 8 into 47. I've sold those, but I usually find them and they're all like beat up. That one looks to be in pretty good condition. So here's one that I just featured recently in my Lisa Frank bolo video. If you guys don't know who Lisa Frank is and what to bolo for, definitely go check out this video. Oh my goodness, Lisa Frank. Whew, there are collectors out there that will pay big bucks. This was one of the items that I featured in that video. So she said, I paid $1.79 at my local Goodwill and it sold for $225 on eBay. It is a vintage Lisa Frank forest tiger plush stuffed animal, colorful, hard to find. And this is what it looks like. Bolo for Staffordshire Dogs paid two apiece for these at St. Vincent, sold on auction for $65. They took a couple months to sell. I just set the listing to auto relist and let it ride. These had no markings except numbers on the bottom, but there were some of these. There are some of these, especially antique ones from England, that go for big bucks. It's a pair of hand painted ceramic Staffordshire Spaniel dogs, and this is what it looks like. I found this Paula Sweet Mink Muslin Cardigan at a yard sale for $4. It was unique. That's what caught my eye. I had never seen anything like it. I took it home and researched comps and found out Paula Sweet's quilt like cardigans were popular in the 90s and starting to make a combat, comeback. I listed around 60 and took a best offer of 40. It was also my first international eBay sale. Look how cool that is. It's so pretty. Don't pass up these glass bead vintage Christmas decorations. I bought a bunch for 25 cents each. Unopened packages. I sold the same day, listed on eBay, sold for 110. Oh, they're mercury glass even. Ooh, in their original packaging. I probably would have did an auction on that. 
found this sealed code Webkins at Value Village for $3.99, looked him up, and there were none listed with only one sold. Best offer was accepted from list price of $150. Listed on Friday and accepted a best offer of 120 on Sunday. There were multiple watchers, probably could have held out for more money, but I appreciated the quick sale. Yes, Webkins, they range from bread and butter to big money. If they have a sealed code, that is definitely a plus. And I do have videos on Webkins. Mr. Coffee Cafe Latte Maker, it's discontinued. I purchased it four times from Goodwill and another thrift store for between $7.99 and $9.99. I had no idea it was so valuable until I was looking online for directions. I've sold it from $110 to $140 plus shipping every time I've listed it. It's sold within a couple days. Thanks for all your useful info. And this looks like it sold on Poshmark for $140. I do have links down below. If you want to join Poshmark, you get $10 to shop with my referral link. If you join Mercari, you're going to get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And they also give me a little money to shop when you guys use those links. So I definitely appreciate that very, very much when you guys use my referral links. And also, what not, get $15 to shop. Come follow me. I'm Bolo Buddies over there. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out in the chat and watch. It's kind of like being live on YouTube and you can talk to people in the chat. Um, super fun. And I would love to see you guys over there. So many of you have come over and hung out in the chat. And I just appreciate all of you so much. Um, it really like makes me happy that you guys are coming over to Whatnot and supporting. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. Come over to the Facebook group if you're not already in it and join. Uh, you can share a bolo or you don't have to. You can just uh, read the posts or share a post if you have a question, a reseller question. It's a reselling Facebook group and we are almost at 90,000 members. So thank you. Huge thank you to all my moderators. If you're watching, I appreciate all of you guys so much for helping me out. Um, Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.